Okay, I'm getting brave here, but I thought I'd go ahead and just show you. Now, as far as the figure he's done, but a lot of you look at him and say, well, golly, he's, he's not as, as, as uh, you know, there's still too much wood showing through, or it's not as, as dark as I want it to be. And this is where the antiquing process comes in. Now, next to it, now this is in the house, and it's the only time I'm going to do this for you, because inside this house here, I don't like to even bring this stuff in here. I keep it in my garage, and you can see I keep it in a, in a plastic container. I've mixed it up. It's a combination of a quart of ball linseed, a half a quart of mineral spirits, and you go down to Hobby Lobby and you get burnt umber and the oil base paint, okay? It's in a tube type, and you take it and you put a half a tube of that with a quart of ball linseed oil and a half a quart of mineral spirits, and that's going to be your antiquing solution. And you stir that up real good and... Let me show you what it does now. I, I, the, you know, uh, picture's worth a thousand words. Now, you see right here, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, the, the colors are not as dark and stuff. But this is where the antique processing comes in. And let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take this cowboy, and I'm going to dip him in, in this solution. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to dip him in this solution. The reason I don't do this in the house is because uh, bowl linseed oil is very, is very, now look, I want you to look at the figure. Now you see what it did to that figure? You see what it did to it? Now I'm going to put the top back on this thing because it's, uh, and I keep that in the garage. Let me wipe my hands off with paper towels. And I'm going to tell you now, when you, when you deal with paper towels, you wet them or you let them dry out. But do not throw them directly into your uh, trash can because if they get hot, they can catch on fire. Bowl and seed oil is very, very flammable. But you see what it did to this figure right here, don't you? See what it did? You see how it, brought, it lustered the colors out and everything like that? See that? See what it did? And you dry it off with a little paper towel and... Uh, I kind of let it just sort of dry there. But you can see now what it did to it. You can see how it, it took those colors and darkened them. And if you want to darken them even more, you can, you can dip it in it several times. But uh, I really love this antique solution that uh, uh, Mike Shipley and some of his uh, uh, videos and books he, he, he uh, taught me or showed that mixture, and I, I just love it. But once again, I want to tell you something. Ball in seed oil is very, very dangerous. Do not keep this stuff in the house. Uh, do not uh, discard these. Uh, I wet them. Uh, what I do is I wet them, and then I kind of lay them out and let them dry. And, uh, but you can see, you see how it changed the color? How it just soothed the color out. And then when you get through with that, you hit it with some uh, uh, deaf wood finish. But let that dry for about 24 hours, what I do, and uh, uh, see how it just brings the figure out. See, these are some little figures that I, uh, I'm doing right now called uh, the shotgun wedding. Uh, I've got four little figures that I've done here, and it's a, it's a the old daddy with a shotgun and the, the mama looking on and making the guy marry his daughter, and then the, the old country preacher, these little scene that I did. And uh, they've been, you know, and then here's a little guy with a red beard. These are a little miniature. I do a lot of miniature work. These only stand about three inches tall. And uh, they've been hit with this stuff. And that's why I say, I just, I love this stuff. Now, you let that dry good before you put any depth on it or anything like that. But I guarantee you that uh, when you put that antiquing solution on it, it just seems to, now once again, boil in seed oil one quart. A half a quart of mineral spirits, you can get that in any hardware store. You mix that together and then you take a half a tube of burnt umber, all base now, all base paint uh, in the tube, artist paint. You can get it in Hobby Lobby and you mix that all together and you make this solution is what you do. And you put it in a plastic container and I'll leave this out in the garage in other words and away from anything flammable. Don't put it next to the hot water heater or nothing. For goodness sake. But... Uh, uh, 
see, see what it, it changed that whole color out. It just smoothed that that uh, uh, figure out right there. And I just I just love this antique solution that you can use. And it just seems to just see how it just mellows out that. And then when you paint it, give it a couple of coats of depth, and uh, you got it. I mean, you you got it done. And uh, uh, see here here I tell you I do people with a beard and a red beard. Well, here's one little guy. I love to do man, miniature work. But that's our cowboy. He's through now. And like I said, don't do this in the house. I just did it for, for you to see. But do not do this in the house. Do this out in the garage or out somewhere outside. And be careful in discarding all these uh, uh, paper napkins. Make sure they're wet. Make sure they dry out right. And don't put them in, it, in, it, in any extreme heat or where they can catch on fire because it is flammable. Not, your finger's not going to catch on fire, you understand? But uh, I'm just saying paper, you know, can do that. And do, do, do not put this near any open flame because, like I said, boiling seed oil is very flammable. I, I'm sorry I keep bringing that up, but it, it's true. It, it, uh, you have to be very, very careful with this stuff um, because I had a plastic uh, trash can. Believe it or not, I threw some away, didn't realize it, and it actually heated up and melted the top of the plastic uh, trash can. So... Uh, it didn't start a fire, but, but it could have. So there's the project. There he is. And, and like I said, he'll get a couple of uh, coats of death on him. And uh, he's not a bad-looking little old boy. He's a pretty good-looking little old boy there. And that's our project. That's the cowboy with who painting. And uh, uh, if you have any questions about this solution, then, then write me on YouTube or whatever and and, uh, but a lot of wood carvers use this solution. They use other types. But I just like this solution myself to give me the, the color of what I want. And I appreciate you tuning in. And we've got our figure painted and all done. And uh, so happy carving. And, and uh, we'll, we'll thank God.